We're back! This is UOA Plays. We are racing the Game Grumps at Majora's Mask. My name is Eric. And I am Rich. And I am in the captain's chair right now. And uh, we're doing stuff to get things. That's all you need to know. Don't fucking tell anyone what you fucking been, saw here. I'm doing a lot of backtracking lately, and I feel like a total asshole for doing it, because I'm pretty sure it ate up like three episodes here. But it'll all pay off. We're going to do about one more... We're gonna do one more thing, and then we're gonna cycle on back, and then continue with the actual story. But it'll all be for the greater good. And what I said earlier, don't tell anyone what you saw here. Do the opposite. Share this with your friends. If don't, you, if you... Don't tell your mom. But, see, let me... But let, let, me let her know I said hi. Okay, let me do a real talk with you guys for a quick sec. If any of you guys are Game Grumps fans, you probably haven't heard the term real talk in a long time. Sadly, they don't do things like that anymore. Well, at least they don't say real talk. But anyways, real talk. If you guys like the content on this channel, um, as we are a small, growing channel, it would fuck greatly help us if you God, were to such a fucking noob. tell fucking your friends about life. this. Jump the goddamn um, if you you're not already, subscribe. Uh, like our videos, you know, comment just to tell us how we're doing and how you feel about the episode. Like, it, it does, it does matter a lot to us. And, you know, you probably think that I'm just saying this because, like, oh, oh, he just wants to be famous or he just wants to get us to like his video because it'll stroke his dick. No, like, it legitimately helps us as a small channel. Um, more engagement on the video, kind of, it, it helps us get our, our name out there. Um, just waited for the fucking dawn of the day. God, so. No, you should. Well, everything's good. Don't don't worry about me. <laughs> um, <laughs> and like if if you subscribe, and share, you know, just share a video with your friends. Just be like, hey, yo, dick wads. Found these guys. They sometimes funny. They make jokes about dicks and they swear a lot. Uh, you know, just spread our name out there it, it really helps as a small channel and uh, I would greatly appreciate it and you make this boy very happy but anyways enough with that shit uh, back to the game back to the game and now back to the game all right guys welcome back to your way plays you're just dicking around we're here playing Super Mario Brothers 2 uh, the lost levels. <laughs> the lost levels. <laughs> open this fucking pit. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, open it? Yes, sir. Everyone follow me. Let's get this circle <laughs> pit started. <laughs> All right, boys, in. Where do they go when they win? And, and, and when, and, uh, when they go in there, they just disappear. They probably jump in the ooh. Oh, hello. You guys can't even, like, come down to help us fucking fight the thing that Oh, is there a game? Fight. Stop it. Oh. I forgot about this shit. Oh, shit. Oh, is he gonna get scared? Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, they're out. Go away. Okay, thank God. Yeah, I thought he was gonna away. run away. Oh, you. Eh? Eh? <laughs> hey, don't question my sexuality, a fairy. I came looking for the royal family's legendary treasure, but my torch got out. I'm sorry, but could you walk in front of me and light the way? It would greatly appreciate it. <laughs> I found it. I hope you like slumped over old man fart smell. Ew. My legs are all fucked up. Uh, so you need to guide him to a hole in the ground. He's going to. Uh, okay. Dig up either monsters or treasure. Oh, uh, so you kind of know what's going on then? Uh, well, there's something strange about this spot. I'm going to stick my wrinkled old dick in the ground <coughs> and see how it feels. Something strange in here, but it isn't any treasure. I'm just going to. Oh, I'm on fire now. Uh, yep, you Can you this keep going? Be an idea. Oh, this this was... idea. I don't know if there's a specific spot. Oh, God. What is that? Oh, 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 oh! Oh, God! God, those things scare me. Oh, man. If you kill it, does it come back right away? I don't know. No, don't dig here. We already dig here. We already dig. I think you gotta target him. Or no, you just... Oh, okay, he just kind of follows you. He just kind of fucks off for a sec. Alright, kill it. Asshole. Yeah, come here. Come on. Come on. 
I don't want to be fucking with those hands. Man, that would have taken like three or four swings if we had the regular bitch sword. You know, the pussy blade. The razor? No. Nothing's <laughs> turning up. Oh, I'll, I'll show you how to turn up. Except mm. by dementia. Ooh, is there a ha, ha, ha. Who are you come again? Come on, show me where to dig, fuckface. Oh, we're in the night of the final day. Yeah, we're, how we're thrilling. Fine, how exhilarating. How fucking fun. Oh, there's something strange about this spot. You want me to dig here? Oh, I hope I find my pension. <laughs> I wonder if that summons another hand. I think, don't you, that's what you want, is like you need to get like all the blue flames or something. And yeah, I'd imagine that's a good thing. You want me to climb up this ladder and leave? No, 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 no. Come back. Okay, I'll leave. <laughs> right, right, I'll come back another day. No, we don't have any more days. Don't go. <laughs> the world's gonna end. Uh, I'm gonna die anyways. So ah, there's something strange about this spot. Do you want me to dig here? Do you want Eric to make another stupid joke about old people? Uh, what fucking other spots are there? Do you know which spots you have and have not done yet? There's only two. Let me take a peeky poo up here. What's up here? How the fuck do you get him up here? Oh, whoa, wait a sec. Do you need to, like, get him up there? Goron Pound, right? Let's find out. Oh, man. This is not what we needed to be lost and confused. Whoop. Oh. Huh. Uh... Huh. Ooh, what if he's on one and you're on the other? Oh, wait, what the fuck? He's going. That's all I need. <laughs> <coughs> he's just like, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm not familiar with this sort of thing, but all right. Am I playing bingo? Let's go, old man. <laughs> you just see him slowly, like, sway and take a step backwards. <laughs> Uh, I'm losing my balance. Come on, come on, this way. Don't you dare, come on. This way, this way. Hey, it move hey, for a second. Hey, hey. Oh, God. Yes. Okay, come on, show us the, show us the goods. Oh, so much effort for literally no reward. Kill him. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think he falls. Yeah. Do it. Do we need to get that platform back here to get him off? Oh, oh that was kind of cool. <laughs> oh, God. This is such a time consuming thing. Come here. So we gotta lead him to that other platform now? Yeah. Man. But the guy's watching. I'm sorry, this cannot be an entertaining episode at all. I like the way he struts. Should I condense I love this episode? The way he moves his butt. Should I condense this episode? You can. You know what? I'm gonna condense well, I mean, I'm this gonna, I'm episode. I'm gonna panic right here because he's gonna get on this platform and then I'm gonna run. And then I'm gonna run up here. Come on, go, Link, go. Go, motherfucker, go. You know, yeah, I'm gonna condense this. Damn, once you kill that fucking hand, it's. Pretty, uh, threatless in here. Oh, we gotta get the goods on this one. Finally. Oh, we got the blue frame. Oh, shit. Then we fight something terrible, a big po. Jesus! Yeah! The leader of the ghosts! How can he move so fast then? He only moves fast when he wants to. Yeah, I think he moves when he's scared. Yeah. If only we could direct him with scaring him. That'd be fun. That'd be cool. That'd be tits. That would make my wiener hard. Oh, yeah. 
You don't like that, do you? You big old meanie bobini. Whoa. We just have to play the waiting game, huh? That's how you want to do your things? Gotta take the blows and then wait for them to stop spinning and just hit them with the arrows and can't do this any faster, huh? That's fine. I don't give a shit. I'm having fun. Having fun. Busting ghosts. Having fun. Oh, man. Ah. Oh, that's a chest. That's a chest deserving of a bottle. Or uh, that's a... That's a chest worthy of a bottle. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yep, 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 I'm gonna yep, drink yep, you yep, later. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I'm gonna drink you. <laughs> no! No! Please stop! <laughs> ah, yes. I'm gonna drink you. I'm gonna make you into poo. <laughs> <laughs> make you into poo later. You got an empty bottle. You got a bottle! Ah, oh, sweet. So now we can just revert time, right? What can we do with the big poe? I think... Oh, his stop is room. He's hiding under the bed. Oh. Aw, oh, what a little bitch. That is actually kind of scary because how much he's shaking. Yeah. Dude, I don't see nothing. I don't know nothing. Aw, oh, and that's probably where he's going to die. Hiding under his bed. That actually makes me sad. Well, yeah, with the end of the world, yes. So, uh, what are you going to do now? Revert time. I believe that's it, yeah. We got four bottles, which we can use in the pirate fortress. And we've got our stone mask. It's going to help us there as well. We got a Zoran mask. I think that's all we need. Awesome. Uh, but the big Poe, uh, later up in Inca Canyon, you need to collect some Poes and drop them off. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, I just wanted to, I, I just remembered I wanted to say this. Um, uh, you go ahead and do your song. Um, with the old guy hiding under the bed. I don't know what, like, okay, so, you know when, like, with watching movies, um. Oh, I should have deposited some money. <laughs> uh, well. Oh, well. Lost all my shit. You got a lot of money in the bank anyways. Um, money in the bank. You know how movies use, like, children sometimes for, like, an emotional shock value? Like, you know, like, in a movie where, like, a kid dies, it's supposed to, they use it to, like, because they're just like, well, it's, it's more impactful if a kid dies versus, like, grown up. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, because it's really taboo to kill children yeah. in movies. Yeah. <laughs> So, I know I have to be in the extreme minority on this, but... Fuck kids. I, I hate children actors. I sympathize more with old people in movies. When I see, like, an innocent old man in a movie who, like, gets killed or something, that just makes me sad, because, like, the fact that, like, this, this man who has lived his whole life, like, 75 years... <laughs> he gets killed in the movie just so we know that trouble's coming later. Yeah, for and the like, main characters of the film, and that that makes me sad because most of the time when an old person mo in a, a movie dies, uh, it's it's usually just like eh, big whoop, old guy died. Whatever. Yeah, especially when it's like they don't even like you don't even know who the hell it is. Yeah, and like, but like to me, it's just like this man has accomplished so much. He probably worked for like fifty to sixty years of his life. In the fucking factory. In, fucking in a factory. And he, stealing the boxes he, or something he had a, frivolous. He had a wife for so many years and had kids and then and he had grandkids. fought in a war, depending on how old the movie fought is. Fought in a war, and he's just he's just accomplished so much in his life. And then some, like, fucking... Some guy mugs him on the street and kills him because he didn't have enough money and the mugger got pissed off. I don't know. That stuff just makes me sad. And, like, but... Like I said, I know I'm in the minority because, like, in a movie, if a little kid dies, I guess my super cynical fucking m mentality is just, eh, whatever. It's not like they did anything anyways. Do you remember the remake? You probably never said the original, but there's a remake movie called The Mist. Or not The Mist, uh, The Fog. The Fog. It's about, like, ghosts that kill people in the fog. 
I don't think I've seen that. That movie had a scene where, for no fucking reason at all, an old woman gets killed. Aww. And that pissed me off, too, because it's like, why'd you, why'd you kill the grandma? She didn't even do anything. And, like, she doesn't, she doesn't have it coming. She's not a bitch. She just goes to her kitchen. And you think being inside is, like, a, a good thing because you're not outside in the fog where all the murder's happening? The ghosts are only in the fog? This, she goes to her kitchen and, like, something, like, comes out at her sink or whatever, and then she gets, like, she disintegrates. Uh. And, like, it's even sad watching her facial expression. Like, Jesus, come on, this did not need to happen. Would you yeah, fuck off, see, Skeleton? Yeah, that stuff makes me sad. Yeah, it was just... She wasn't like an asshole, so you didn't be like, yeah, fuck that old bitch. And, um, didn't even see it coming. And it accomplished nothing in the film. <laughs> other yeah. than, like, there's, there's nothing you can stop these ghosts. These ghosts are fucking ruthless. And and to add to the, the kid thing, I think another thing, people are watching this are just going to be like, God, Eric just wants kids to die. Um, <laughs> no, that's not the truth. Uh, it's just... Just, if like, they would just stop living. I would be content <laughs> with that as well. Uh, I think what makes me more sad when a kid dies in a movie is like seeing the effect that it has on like the kid's parents if it chooses to show that. Uh, but it doesn't always do that. So like if it doesn't show that and it just shows the kid dying and you're supposed to feel bad because a kid just died. I don't know. For me, it doesn't get to me. And I think maybe it's just because like I know they're going for like the oh, this is going to be, like, shock value for the viewer if we kill this kid, and we're going to, he's going to know we mean business when he's watching this movie. But for me, it's just like, eh, whatever. Like, like, I probably wasn't emotionally attached to the kid, and, like, you know, what has the kid done in his life? And I know, like, the sad thing is supposed to be like, oh, it's an innocent kid, and he had so much, so much, like, of his life ahead of him, you know, that's now wasted because he's dead. I know that's supposed to be why it's sad, but I don't know. It just it doesn't get to me. <clears throat> Kid's got his whole life ahead of him. Not versus, anymore, because now he's dead. Person. Hey, that person was, uh, you know, was kicking and all that, but he, you know, what else did he have to live for? That child had his whole life ahead of him, Eric. Ah. That's the thought process. I, I, I had a conversation with Victoria about this, and I know no Fuck matter how <laughs> how much no matter how much I was trying to convince her, I could just see it in her eyes where she was like, I shit, don't shit, agree. Shit, 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 no! Oh, shit. Fuck! All right, well, uh, this is about time to wrap this episode up. Well, we hope you enjoyed our playthrough of Majora's Mask. Uh, we don't know what game we're going to play next, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, this is, uh, we're done with Majora's Mask. I, I'm raging right now. I'm raging Ooh. so hard from that one mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to rage quit on this one. All right, maybe next time we'll play, like, uh... A decent game. Fucking <laughs> Billy Hatcher or Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. All right, see you guys. Bye.